Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna go over the Batora Acro Comp climbing shoe, what I love about it, what could be improved, and why I think you should consider it as a serious contender for helping send your toughest projects. First things first, let's quickly burn through its tech specs. The Acro Comps are an aggressive downturn shoe with an asymmetric design for toe pulling power. Four millimeter Neo Fuse outsole rubber, soft midsole, and a leather synthetic mix for the upper construction, all tied together with a Velcro closure and an improved heel rounding system that incorporates a 3D molded heel cup for better fit compared to its predecessors, the Batora Acros. The best thing about these shoes for me is the rubber. Its softness gives me an amazing amount of sensitivity so I know exactly what I'm standing on and how I'm standing on it. The only other shoe that gives me the exact same feeling are the Black Diamond Shadows, which I found out later uses the exact same rubber so you guys can't accuse me of being biased or high on crack on that opinion. The advantage of it being on the softer side is that it does mold better to the rock, giving you better friction, which again is why I favor these shoes over some of the others like um, the Geniuses or the Squamers, which use Excess Grip 2 rubber. I just seem to slip a lot more on Excess Grip 2, whereas these just give me some nice friction, even on some of the glassiest holes. The fit is snug for anyone with a wide toe box, and I've had no issues with the heel slipping, even during some pretty hard heel hooks. For me, honestly, it's close to a perfect fit for the shape of my foot, which again is just another reason why I love these shoes. Of course, everyone's foot is different. Some of you might have a narrower foot profile or feet like hobbits, so you'll just have to try them on first and decide for yourself whether they suit you or not. The big toe patch at the top gives ample room for toe hooks, coupled with the softer midsole gives you all the freedom to adjust the position of your foot until it's in just the right spot. Now onto the negatives. There's very little negatives, at least in my books, when it comes to the Acro Comps. Uh, and the only reason I fault them on the following things is because I own a bunch of shoes and I end up wishing one shoe had the feature of another. So just keep that in mind. The fit, though I mentioned is good, isn't perfect. Against my Squamas, the Squamas are un uncontested. Those just create a perfect suction that fit my feet perfectly, with the heel cup just holding my heel securely in place with virtually no wiggle room, uh, but in a really perfect fitting kind of way. The softness of the rubber, though I said was a pro, is also why I think it's a negative. I think that the shoe is a fantastic gym shoe, but it will wear out very quickly outdoors, which you can see in my old Acro's heel. Last is more of a personal taste than a real negative, but aesthetically, I think that design is a bit outdated. Some of you might like the look of the retro design, but personally, I really like the flashy designs that Evolve and Las Batifa typically have. I do like that the Acro comps use a black and white uh, color scheme compared to the orange lining of the old Acros, which gives it a bit more sleekness, but compared to the sporty look of its competitors, or even its own gummy or Nasha lines, it just lacks that wow factor. That being said, that doesn't really affect performance and that's what it really comes down to. Bottom line, would I purchase these shoes again in the future? Absolutely. The stickiness and the sensitivity of the rubber and the great fit is why I use these as my primary sending shoe. It's a tad cheaper than its competitors, which I think make it the best bang for buck bouldering shoe in its range. But as a massive gear nerd, I do want to hear what you guys are currently climbing in or what your favorite shoe has been. So let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully this video has been useful and I'll see you guys next time.